geometry very very important topic very very important topic and very very easy topic or probably i will try to make it easiest because of the conceptual clarity which i'll give you in the class right so number system number system is nothing but representation by using numerical values write down in the similar order number system is nothing but representation using numerical values arithmetic is nothing but arithmetic is nothing but representation of a topic using word words algebra is nothing but representation using variables variables geometry is nothing but representation by using a diagrams so in geometry you will find a lot of diagrams in fact only diagrams a diagram will be given and you will be asking you depending upon the question whether it is angle or a side or an area or a perimeter two side third side three sides perimeter so on and so forth all are same number system is the representation of parameters using numerical values arithmetic is by using words algebra is by using variables geometry is by using diagrams let me correlate number system algebra and number system it is 1 2 3 4 5 and so on in algebra one is nothing but a linear equation two it is nothing but a quadratic equation three it is nothing but a cubic equation 4 is a nothing but a fourth power equation and so on in geometry 1 is a nothing but a dot 2 is a nothing but two end points it is a line write down in the same similar order cubic is a nothing but a three lines together it is a nothing but a triangle 4 is a nothing but four points which is a nothing but a quadrilateral and so on up to infinite this is a nothing but a identity equation and this is a nothing but a circle this is a nothing but a circle very very important point number system is a representation using numerical values 1 2 3 4 5 and so on in algebra it is a representation using variables linear quadratic cubic and so on geometry it is by using diagrams dot line triangle quadrilateral and so on and so on in algebra in algebra it is if it is arithmetic progression in arithmetic the similar thing is called as simple interest and in number system it is called as addition which is denoted by plus in algebra if it is gp it is nothing but ci and number system is into in arithmetic in algebra if you are using nth term as a plus n minus 1 into d which is in ap the same thing in physics we use it as or sn is nothing but n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d 2 into d this is nothing but v equivalent to u plus at s equivalent to u T plus half G T square. All are similar. Idea behind the slide is to tell you that just a representation, right? Nomenclature is different. Geometry is by using diagrams. Arithmetic I will use words. Number system I will use numerical values. Algebra I will use variables. Algebra I will use variables. Algebra I will use variables. Just go according to this flow only. right arithmetic progression and physics also physics and maths also is similar only the nomenclature is different now side heading one to many function please write down this is a basic understanding or the connecting of dots between number system arithmetic algebra and geometry next please write down one more one to many function basics are very important one to many function 
how repeated usage of one function will result in the definition of other. You take two numbers addition, you take three numbers addition, you take four numbers addition, you take repeated addition, you will get into. You take two numbers into, you take three numbers into, you take four numbers into, repeatedly you do. You got power n. You do two numbers, subtraction you do. Suppose if it is 0, 1, 2, do from right to left, I will get minus, minus is a negative addition. You do two numbers subtraction, three numbers subtraction, repeatedly do, you got div. You do two numbers division, three numbers division, four numbers division and so on repeatedly you do, you will get power 1 by n. Power 1 by n is a third. This is a division. Division is a nothing but a repeated subtraction. Power is a nothing but a repeated multiplication. Multiplication is a nothing but a repeated addition. Repeated addition. One too many function. Repeated usage of one function will result in the next definition. One dot. Next is two dot. Next is three dots. Next is four dots. Next is five dots. And so on up to. You do repeatedly. You will get infinite, countable infinite number of dots which you call it as a circle. Circle is a combination of a pentagon. Pentagon is a combination of quadrilateral which turn triangles which turn line which learn right dot that is the reason suppose if you take a circle take a scissor and cut it you will get a line you will get a line with a radius particular radius value that is the reason in it is asked suppose you take a circle develop a line or develop a triangle or develop a or develop a quadrilateral or you develop a circle suppose from this line line has got some value some value from that line if you develop a triangle or if you develop a quadrilateral or if you develop a circle circle will have the maximum area circle will have the maximum area circle as the number of number of sides maximum area will be maximum Number of sides maximum, area will be maximum for a def given definite value. Area will be maximum. Area will be maximum. If I give a particular value, suppose if I give a line with a length 12 centimeters, make the area, make a triangle, make a quadrilateral, make a circle, circle will have the maximum area. Circle will have the maximum area. Number of sides maximum, area will be maximum. Please make a note of it, sir. Number of sides maximum, number of sides maximum, area will be maximum. I hope it is clear. Number of sides maximum, area will be maximum. Maximum sides are there, it area will be maximum. I will again come back to this point, sir. I will again come back to this point. When I, area is given, which one will have the largest parameter, all that value. Right? Suppose, please write down a question. First one, triangle. Triangle. Write in the same serial order, triangle. Triangle will start with the triangles. The most important domain for any aptitude exams triangle. Triangle is nothing but a three sided closed figure. A triangle is nothing but a three sided closed figure. B is a triangle. Triangle is a three sided closed figure. If I call it as one, two, three. Second point. If I shift a figure or if I rotate a figure, if I shift a figure or if I rotate a figure, area will not change. Area will not change. Number of integral points will not change. Number of integral points will not change. Please write down this point. If I shift a figure, I will again come back to this. If I shift a figure or if I rotate a given figure, area of the figure will not change or number of integral points will not change. Suppose, 
triangle is here you shift it like this still both of them will have the same area still both of them will have the same area write down in the same order you will understand why am I explaining in the same order if I shift the figure or if I rotate the figure area will not change area will not change number of integral points will not change now see here see here beautifully a beautiful way of looking at problem probably this proof you are, might not have seen it anywhere this is a triangle this is a triangle now if you see angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 easy way to look at it is shift this line this side shift this line this side I will get a straight line straight line answer is 180 degrees that is the reason sum of three angles in a triangle that is the reason sum of three angles in a triangle it is 180 if I shift the figure or if I rotate the figure area will not change area will not change beautiful way of looking at it why sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 any smart student sitting in the class who wants a mathematical proof take the midpoints drop perpendicular drop perpendicular if I take the midpoints drop perpendicular these are the midpoints beta these are the midpoints A, B, C listen carefully to everything sir by the end of few classes in geometry you will find geometry to be very easy topic this is a midpoint AD equivalent to DB and AE equivalent to EC AE equivalent to EC top 1 please shift it down if I shift the figure down this is 1 I hope you are all with me then shift the figure this side if I shift the figure it is 2 if I shift the figure it is 3 so that is what I said what is the sum of the angles in a straight line sum of the angles in a straight line is 180 please write down I hope it is clear right sir or otherwise shift the line to the left side shift the line to the right side angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 it is 180 I hope you enjoyed the right alternate way of looking at it and we are going to solve like this as we go forward four classes of geometry are there I hope it is clear this is one way to look at it this is one way to look at it similarly listen carefully sir I am going to solve multiple problems like this suppose I got quadrilateral listen carefully sir if I got a quadrilateral 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 sum of 4 angles in a quadrilateral is 360 it is everybody knows that it is one way to look at it is the join the diagonals you will get two triangles two triangles it is 180 so I will not take this whatever you know take 2 as a point of reference flip the figure to the top if I flip the figure to the top this is 3 this is 2 this is 4 and it is 1 flip the figure to the right side taking 2 as a point of reference this is 4 and it is 1 this is 2 and it is 3 shift the figure to the down if I shift the figure it is 1 and it is 4 and it is 2 and it is 3 beautiful way of looking at it is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 right it is a straight line sum of the angles is 180 angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 total sum is 360 wonderful way of looking at it is why sum of the 4 angles in a quadrilateral why sum of 4 angles in a quadrilateral why sum of 4 angles in a quadrilateral it is 360 absolutely unique way of looking at a multiple questions right we will start from the basics and slowly we will scale into the next level I hope the idea is clear 2 is the point of reference 2 is the point of reference maybe from this you take 2 lines you call it as theta this will become 180 minus theta because it is also a line it is theta this is also a line 
these also 180 minus theta that is the reason in textbooks it is written angle 1 2 3 and 4 nomenclature i don't want angle 1 plus angle 2 sum of the angles in a straight line is 180 angle 2 plus angle 3 sum of the angles in a straight line is 180 vertically opposite angles are equal angle 1 equivalent to angle 3 and angle 2 equivalent to angle 4 please make a note everything is by using diagrams everything is by using diagrams theta 180 minus theta 180 minus theta theta sum of the angles in a straight line is 180 sum of the angles in a straight line is 180 if i take a straight line if this is theta this side will be 180 minus theta vertically also there is a line total angles is 180 180 minus theta theta again it is a straight line theta 180 minus theta just remove theta and 180 minus theta with 1 2 3 4 right listen carefully four classes four into two and a half hours close to 10 hours of geometry this week i am going to discuss do not miss anything do not miss anything sir i hope it is clear i will try to discuss as many problems as possible using concepts sum of four angles sai ram beta for you this is one two three four shift it to the top to shift it to the right and shift it to the bottom if i shift it three will come here two will go here four sum of four angles in a quadrilateral is 360 absolutely very different way to look at why sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 and sum of four angles in a quadrilateral is 360 write one more write one more i hope you all enjoyed a different way of looking at it sum of four angles in a quadrilateral is 360